Perhaps you're like me and wonder why the cost of college grew at twice the rate of inflation. That is, until 2008, when this quadrupled. Imagine that this, this huge cliff, and against this cliff, colleges on surfboards have been washed up higher and higher by waves of student loans. So now they're on a ledge way up here with incredibly high tuitions. Tuitions which in 10 years will across the board be $100,000 a year. And they don't know how to get off, to get down from that ledge. The moment hundreds of thousands of students mobilize and they put their heads, hearts, and feet together and they surround these TV stations and these radio stations and these newspaper offices uh, and they start getting politically engaged. It's gonna work, baby. How you doing, sir? 44 million people, $1.5 trillion. Fox News needs to be covering this. Huh. Confused by that Who poll. is that guy out there? Student loan. Oh, oh, right, right, that that oh, because right. the media covers power. Student loans in this country suck. Either it's gonna explode in a crisis of student debt, you know, and, and that's going to become the next mortgage debt crisis, or we're going to fix it. Students have to get off their butts and realize that the only solution is with them, and it involves protest. You know, I used to think Washington was on our side, wanted us to succeed. And I can tell you, this is the dirtiest rat trap that I have ever stumbled across. Pretty astounding to me. Especially in this country. What kind of a country does that? You, what you kind know, of a country it's, the, it's the adults eating their young, yeah. and it's absurd. Yeah. Sally May, the Department of Education, the Consumer Bankers Association, for-profit colleges, public universities, Wall Street investors, and others have designed a trap to make more money from your failure rather than your success. This is a hallmark of a predatory lending system. Colleges are going over the cliff. Students are going over the cliff. Their parents are going over the cliff. Just looking at this disaster of Thelma and Louise. Get the word out on this monumental issue. Give a dollar. Give ten. Give whatever you can. The problem is sinking America. Thomas Jefferson and George Washington were up to their eyeballs in debt to British banks and merchants. A lot of people say the Boston Tea Party and Declaration of Independence it was as much a statement about economic emancipation as anything else. If Congress doesn't do what's right and what's constitutional and at a minimum return the standard bankruptcy protections that should have never been taken away from student loans. The citizens owe it to themselves to come here, burn their student loan papers and throw the ashes in the harbor.